Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to look at control voltage interconnections among the Moog or Foger plugins. I'll start by just laying down a very basic melody in a MIDI track here in Ableton Live using the Model D plugin. Let's open it up and choose a preset. I'm going to go to the Sound Workshop preset pack and choose Basso Strano. Sounds good to start. So let's just open a little MIDI thing here and make a quick little sequence and see how that sounds. I'll Command A and lengthen all the notes a bit. Okay. So now let's say we want to run this from the Model D through the MF-101 filter. I'll click the 101 filter and drag it into my track. And now I'll hit the space bar. Now let's go in through the filter and I can play with the envelope follower mount, the cutoff, and that all sounds good. Let's say I want to modulate the filter cutoff with not only the envelope follower on the 101, but with an LFO as well. To do that, I'll choose a Moger Foger with an LFO. There are a couple of options, but I'm just going to grab the MF-103 phaser. So I'll click that to add that to my signal chain. If I hit spacebar again, we can hear the Model D go through the low pass filter and into the phaser. But for now I'm going to click active to bypass the phaser because right now I just want to use the LFO. On the 101, I can either click the top row of jacks or the CV button. Both bring me to the back panel of the MF-101. And on the back panel of the MF-101, you can see all the parameters that you can modulate with CV. I want to modulate the cutoff. And by clicking on the cutoff, I get a list of all the different options I have for modulation. Those include the MF-101's envelope, but that also includes the MF-103's LFO. Each instance of a Mogrefoger is assigned a particular four-character code, which is unique for that instance of the Mogrefoger. You can see the unique identifier of the 103 by clicking on CV, and you'll see the code here, in this case RKCL. If I were to open up a second phaser and go to the CV panel on that phaser, you'll see that it has a completely different identifier. And when I click the cutoff input on the 101, I see a list of all my modulation sources, including both unique phasers. But in this case, let's just use the first phaser, the RKCL1, and we'll click LFO to connect the LFO to the 101 cutoff input. I'm just going to close the other phaser we had opened. You'll see a cable inserted into the cutoff jack, and it will illuminate in time with the modulation signal. You will also see that on the control that we're modulating, in this case the filter cutoff knob, a white indicator will show the modulation in real time. Now if I go over to the MF-103 and increase the rate of the LFO, you'll see these indicators change. Let's press spacebar to hear this in action. We can also change the rate of the 103 LFO with the switch. Below each CV input jack is an attenuverter to scale the incoming modulation. In this case, you can see that the 103 LFO is moving the filter cutoff all the way up, but maybe we want a more subtle modulation. By using the attenuverter, we can scale back the modulation to be more subtle. We can also invert the modulation by going into the negative. This way, the 103 LFO will move the cutoff down from its current position instead of up. The 103 LFO can also be bipolar, and by clicking on the jack and clicking bipolar, that will now make the LFO bipolar. 
moving both above and below the current position of the cutoff knob instead of in only one direction. In this case, the attenuverter still works as before, in the positive direction attenuating the modulation, and in the negative direction as well, but just with the LFO flipped 180 degrees. Remember that modulation signals can come from anywhere in your active session. Let's say on my second track here I have a 108 cluster flux. I can choose the ramp up LFO on the cluster flux and adjust the rate. And now when I go back to track 1, I can click on the cutoff modulation jack and instead choose the 108 LFO from the cluster flux, which is in a different track. Let's turn off bipolar to just ramp the cutoff upwards. The Mografoger software series of plugins replicate the deep interconnectivity options on the original Mografoger hardware pedals. You can experiment with interconnecting them for subtle modulation or to build extreme interdependent effects that are more than the sum of their parts.